What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cat and Beats, and welcome to episode number four. So, um, we are mixing and mastering in the box using uh, Ableton and the plugin company Plugin Alliance. Now, I am using the Plugin Alliance bundle called the Mega Bundle, which has a st staggering amount of plugins. I really like Plugin Alliance because it's not the run of the mill, you know, Justin 1176. No, they also have. Alicia and they have Linda audio and they have uh what's it called unfiltered audio they have tons of stuff the the focus right as well um it's it's really cool and boutique plugins that they have emulated which gives us some i don't know some extra flavors that you don't normally get uh that's why I really like uh plugin alliance so definitely worthwhile to check out they also give you tons of um emails constantly with you know buy this plugin now for 20 bucks instead of 299 dollars so that kind of stuff is really cool keep your eye out on that and just subscribe to them and uh, see what you like anyway i like using the plugin mega bundle because then i can try everything and then see what i want to have at the end of it anyway good stuff um next up i'm working for the artist anade who is a artist based in spain super chill nice guy who makes filthy filthy dark techno um i highly suggest you give him a follow give him some love if you're a record label or an agency or you know you can help this guy out get in contact with him as well um i really would love to see him break through and and break through in this techno scene because he's just dope um now anyway the song that we have is here And you can also mix it, this is the last plug, I promise, on patreon.com slash cat and beats. Anade and I, we have made this project file available for patrons to download, and then you can get your mixing game in with some actual real uh, projects uh, from artists that aren't like super, super, super famous and everything's already done for you. No, you still have to do some things. So go over there, try to mix away and see what you get. If you want, watch the whole series and first write down some concepts and then start mixing away or just follow along with the Plugin Alliance bundle the way I'm going about it and just see what you think of it and go through it like that. Um, I really believe in doing is learning. If you, it's not fake it till you make it, it's make it till you make it. You just have to keep fucking grinding. And if you want to be a mix engineer, it's experience gets you where you need to be. All right. So download it if you want to get started with it and start uh, slamming, uh, this hard techno. Anyway, so far track sounds like this. And what I want to do today is continue where we left off last time. I want to fix this top end, specifically that clap, that wood block, I call it. And I want to disrespect the way everything was set up before. So everything was set up before, just to give you a synopsis, hi-hats were here. The uh, clap was only over there. The low end was only over here. So everything's super cut and I don't like the way that works. I want all my music to translate in this lovely band, which would be the mid band. Music is in the mids. I kind of want to have that to focus as well. So that people that are bass impaired or people that are listening on their shitty phones or their your, their little plug-in thing, they can still go, mm, oh, that's so fat. And then people that have super speakers, they can still go, oh yeah. So anyway, what I want to do is make sure that this wood block doesn't sound the way it does. Currently, this wood block only sounds like this. It has some low end, pump, and basically, it sounds like it's completely cut in this area. So that's annoying. I'm missing the 10k and up stuff. So let's um, get ourselves a multi band uh, distortion unit. And I found one called uh, Triad which is supposed to be the it's supposed to be an effects uh thing but actually it's going to also be able to just use modular uh, multi-band stuff and get this thing to be unfiltered unfiltered audio check this out let me show you so if we get triad 
and we go over to plugins. Here we go, triad. We pop this on the wood block. All right. And then we open this up with the biome. And then we go to this midsection. One. It's just a volume fader like that. What we can do is go to saturation, slam it. Oh my God, there's top end. And now we can choose one that we want. Now the cool part is we also have a mix knob because this is obviously too much. And we can now mix in the amount of that top end snap uh, that we want to have in the track instead of everything being cut so much. Now it's all of a sudden there. We just AB it. I can't hear it. It's just in the mix somewhere. And there she is. So there she blows, right? So a little bit of it. I'm gonna actually use the volume fader here. So super happy with that. It's just a tiny little bit of stuff there. Now, I'm sure that with this thing, I can somehow create some noise that's also going to play at the same time. But I honestly, oh wait, hurts. I honestly don't really know how this works. So I'm just going to get a vocoder really fast. Again, I am no expert whatsoever in Plugin Alliance. I'm just taking you along with the trip of a guy that uh, wants to use Plugin Alliance and at the same time kind of discovering it with you guys. So check this out. I'm just gonna use the vocoder here and give it a little bit of noise. And I'm using the noise because everything's super noisy in this track. sounds more together right because everything's super noisy it has more of a together it's not like a there's a separate wood block and there's a separate this there's a separate that no there's a constant harmonic sound that all kind of fits in one Okay, happy pappy. Happy pappy. Now let's move on. I'm gonna also take that triad uh, thing and use it as a similar trick and then use that triad actually on the top end of for the kick drum area too. I want to push this kick bass thing and then that top end as much as I can without it destroying the mix too much. But let's just uh, check that. really hear the difference between these but I'm probably doing a little bit too little but I think in the mix that's gonna sound dope so it's still really dark and then on It's just that tiny little bit to get it pushed out, uh, and it's nice.
and that's just for the bass impaired people. Okay, so now that these two are sounding really fat together, we can still do some compression that all the stuff comes together with an internal sidechain with some advanced things because we can do that kind of stuff within Ableton. However, uh, what I want to do now is I want to continue mixing and I want to fix this, um, this groove part here. I have this track here. It sounds like this. And it's still grooving. And currently we have, you know, this, uh, this thing here doing this sound. Which is constantly being modulated. Watch uh, one of the previous show, uh, episodes. And this is, has a cutoff, so it goes... But it stays in the same pitch. I kind of want to do the same thing with this thing, but instead of having the same pitch, I want to change the pitch over time. So it goes... Like that. So let's use Biome, which is also from un Unfiltered Audio. And let's try to figure out how to change pitch. I have no fucking clue. Okay, so uh, can we like... Oh, this is a basic filter. How do we change the basic filter to something else? Delay, glitch, shift, instant delay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, uh, let's just check out the default setting, factory, presets, delays. Let's try this instead, uh, because it might actually work that we get some type of pitch shift here. Okay, there's a pitch shift. A little bit too fast. Okay, here's a pitch shift. Let's use the mix knob again to kind of push that in. It's more of a felt than heard, so I'm going to back off the mix. And again, with this type of techno, I'm trying to modulate constantly. This constant modulation is only there because techno in itself is extremely repetitive. So if you can modulate over time, but felt not heard type of modulation, uh, then you can like shape this whole atmosphere uh, that the track is in. And it kind of helps out. It's as long as you don't go too much. Otherwise, you know, it's not going to stand the test of time. Um, all right. You know, those songs, like if you listen to the st stuff from the eighties, anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's try to put this triad on and see what they have in the presets. Maybe there's some type of, um, some type of like that. And then we can softly push in. Okay, so we have multi effects. I'm just gonna have a look here. What we have so we have the delays here. Delay two to four. Feed me now. Piano. Does anything rhythmical would be really nice. If we just say rhythmic, add the house. Add to house loop. Let's just see. Oh. Well, that was easy. Okay, let's keep this bass sequence chopper so that it kind of, you know, adds with the with the tuck 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 and keep that in. Let's just see how that mixes in. I'm pretty happy with that and let's try to also uh, get a little bit of boots and cats on that thing just so that everything constantly moves with that boop 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 that that's kind of the sound that's you know techno let's pop that in okay leave the modulation in there's modulation through the, the, the sound here from um, Anade. I'll leave that in. I'll respect that. And now 
I want to try something and I'm not sure if I can get it, but currently we have a static mix and a static mix is working, right? So everything is kind of nice. I want to figure out if I can get the kick bass and top end um, to be kind of compressed together. So we could, com you know, compress with another group like this which is probably what we can do. Let's just do that. Let's just write down drums here. And I want to get a, a compressor that will glue together sound. Now, let's see. I'm just going to write down glue, see what comes up. Glue? Oh, no, it doesn't happen. Uh, SSL? Okay, we have SSL console. I don't really need that. I don't need a console right now. I just need... Here we go. The BX Townhouse bus compressor would be one that I want to try. Oh, 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 yeah, the, that's probably the one we're going to try out. Um, so let's try that one out. Where was it? BX Townhouse. Townhouse, yeah. Townhouse, try that out. I'm just going to pop it in. Does it have an internal sidechain is my main beat because we have all that bass build up? No, it does not. Okay, let's try one that's a little bit more advanced. I'm going to just write down the word compressor instead. And let's just go over here and then write down dynamics. We can just click on it, I think. Tone, utilities, pedals, mix, dynamics. Boop, there we go. Here are all the compressors. Uh, BX Opto, BX Master Dex, Desk. That could work. Let's try the BX Master Deck thing. Uh, that could probably work. I've always wanted to use this thing. So let's try that out. I'm going to just put a couple of compressors here and a couple of things that I think might work. And then we're going to have a shootout. Shadow Hill Class A compressor. Because we can. I mean, that's a lot of money that's uh, flowing around now. Um, bada -bum, bada -bim, bada -bim. Oh, we already have used that one. This is a 3,000 euro opto compressor. That sounds nice. Um... Iron. Let's try the iron as well, and then let's just call it with those. So now, at my fingertips, I have a couple of, well, probably about a car worth of, uh, really luxury car worth of compression uh, units. <laughs> um, let's try the BX Master Desk first, because I kind of want to mess with this to see what it does. What do we have? We have resonance filters. We have one, two, three, four, the TMT mode. We have limiter turbo compressor link. Please link it. Uh, we have volume compressor mix, de foundation. I have no clue what these things mean. Let's just have a play with this. Leave that the way that is. It sounds okay. I'm a little bit confused by it. I thought it would be a compressor. Uh, let's try the BX Townhouse now. Uh, we have a threshold here. The makeup gain is probably turned up automatically. It's annoying. Release one attack, probably 10 ish. Ratio two, try it out. Perfect. Okay, next, Shadow Hill Mastering Compressor. Let's see what that does. I'm just setting them up really fast. 
And then I'm going to have a uh, ABC uh, thing. We have an optical threshold, optical gain, discrete ratio. But let's keep that discrete then, two to one ish. Uh, attack slow, release. My God, why are these things so small? Discrete threshold, recovery fast, discrete gain, discrete. Dis God damn it, steel, iron, nickel. All right, let's have a listen. I like how this compressor is like really emphasizing the thing. Let's try the SPL. Okay, so this slams the things all together. The sidechain EQs are really, really cool. Uh, what is this? Interval, yada, yada. Okay, so I'm going to really quickly go through it. I know I'm completely disrespecting the um, the plugins as well. But, you know, this is how I go through things. I go fast. <laughs> Okay, that's a really annoying, um, annoying compressor to have. Um, you know, what? by a pure default, a uh, headroom. No, I'm gonna just turn this thing. Turn, fuck it. Too annoying. I can't adjust the output. Okay, next. Um, try this one out. Master desk. doing too much for me let's try this one out okay i'm gonna just close my eyes and see which one i pick I think this is the BX one because there's too much control on it. And this is the Shadow Hill. Yeah. So I'm going to keep the Shadow Hill one because it sounds uh, thicker. Okay. So now that we have this whole thing, let's see if this actually makes any sense in the mix whatsoever. It's probably going to be best to keep this on the master later on. Uh, and I'm going to just ungroup this. And I don't think I'm going to have a shared harmonic in this whole thing. And then later on, uh, I'm going to use this as a mastering compressor instead. All right. Uh, anyway, static mix is almost, well, it's actually completely ready. What I'm going to be doing next, and I'll do that in the next episode, is I'm going to mix in everything else there's so there's a couple of little things that i still need to add in so you have a pad and things like that and then uh listen through it to make a list of shit i need to do then a couple of more compressors a couple of more sends pop it in the shadow hills mastering compressor find myself a limiter as well call it a day anyway see you guys in the next episode massive shout outs to plugin alliance for being awesome um on a day 
the artist for uh, letting me do all this and having a good time. Again, give him some love, some support. Um, and patrons, thanks for supporting the channel. I hope you enjoy mixing this track. And uh, much love. I'll see you guys there. And oh yeah, if you are considering Patreon, you can actually ask questions there. There's more than 200 videos there of me going in-depth on plugins, on compression, on... Uh, I don't know, uh, low-end uh, vocal processing. If you have questions, that kind of stuff, just ask or watch more of the 200 videos and uh, check that out. That's one of the main benefits. All right, peace out. Much love. Take care. Have a fantastic day.